Welcome back to welcome back to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and highlight our finished mascot and then we'll uh, call it done. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and grab our pen tool and we're going to create a new layer called highlights. Sorry about that. I double clicked wrong. Highlights. And on here, we're simply going to create a nice beveled effect, kind of like so. And this doesn't have to be perfect, but the nicer it is, the better. I'm going to go ahead and grab this point here. I'm just dragging this out a little bit and it's just to get a nice line here and once you have that we can then uh, control click or command click that delete that layer and now we can use our paintbrush tool make it a nice good size around 100, 100 pixels or so drop the hardness all the way down make sure you have white and then you can simply click and drag a nice highlight in like so and then we can drop that opacity down to about about 45 percent will be good and we don't need a bunch of these um, and we can actually use our polygon lasso tool for some of these as well and uh, we'll start here And we'll move this below our lines layer so that you don't even see them like so. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and create a nice, nice one right along this edge here. And then we'll click and drag that. like so drop that opacity down that was just a hair bit more and then we can take our blur tool and blur that edge there a little bit as well just to kind of soften it up that's looking pretty good <laughs> now let's go ahead and take this selection here and we can go ahead and go to select modify and contract that by about 15 pixels and that's because it's going to give us this line here and we can then hold down alt shift and I to invert our selection using the paintbrush tool again we can then actually need to undo that inverse mm -hmm. I'm not really sure why that's doing that Oh, it's because I'm on the wrong layer. <laughs> there we go. Something like that. Maybe do a little bit right here on his lips. A little bit here. And then we can do a little bit on this inside fin like so. And like that, we have a nice shaded character. All we need to do is finish it out by going to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and just blur it by a couple of pixels. Do it by about four, should be good. Hit OK. Go ahead and 
command click your outer lines inverse the selection and then hit delete yeah, I had it on the wrong one I'm sorry about that and after you've done that your character is complete so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in future pixelforlife.com video tutorials thanks guys